In this Vault Hunters episode, we are running our first catalyst infused vault, crafting a bunch of different stations, but most importantly, we are making our very first architect crystal. This is going to be fun. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Welcome back to Vault Hunters. Before we run this awesome looking vault, which has applied a catalyst of plus 25% on Nate chests, there are a couple of things we need to do first. One of which is to to not buy this but buy this within the next two hours because this is another catalyst with another plus 25% living where we would be able to apply together with the other living one that we have which would make it so we get a crystal that has plus 50% living which I really really do want. The next part is to go to bed in our brand new velvet bed. Love it. Comfort at its finest. And second I have a bounty here for submitting 55 warped stem at the bounty table. That should be fairly easy to get my hands on, right? Granted, I have an axe, which I do, and I also do have wings and a helmet. And so we can glide down, head to the nether, eat some vault sweets. And if I'm not mistaken, then this, yep, that is the warped stems, which I need 55 of, which should be fairly easy to get. Granted, I have a vein miner enabled, and that is basically that. Dash up and head back through. And I actually thought it said stripped, but it didn't. And that is that bounty complete. Some very cheap Benutite and knowledge essence, but most importantly, nine chromatic steel ingots. That is really worth it. And ka-ching, not too bad. And I will run these mystery bosses right off the bat. We got some diamonds and emeralds. I will not complain. Now for the next bounty, I'm going to reroll this because I don't want to submit 34 diamonds at the bounty table. I don't think that's really worth it. Are you kidding me? Another extremely, I mean, it, it would be stupid not to take this, right? It's 59 crimson stem. That is extremely easy, especially considering we have a crimson forest right over here. And I can even enable magnet, which is going to make life a lot easier. And just like that, we should, actually, we have just enough. Wow. And head on over. Whee! Ow. And do that and claim the reward again. Very nice. And I highly doubt that this is actually going to be better than... Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. Not good. Also not good. So, yeah. This can be scrapped. And this can be saved. Now, the final one remaining is kill Dweller Bobs in the vault. And I guess it's an okay reward. However, I want to reroll it. I want something more interesting. Ooh, a rare one. Kill dungeon mobs in the vault. I don't feel like I see that many dungeons, to be honest. It would give me a chip. Nah, nah, nah. Are you kidding me? Submit one bell for... That's a black chromatic ceiling. Get a twelve. What? Please tell me I have. Pl please, please tell me that this village over here has a bell. It must have one, right? Right? Yes. Bell. That is the best trade I think I have ever seen in Vault Hunters. <laughs> a black chromatic ingot for a bell. Like what? Just do that and boom. That. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Of course, the boots are not something to uh, party about. Well, uh, that was all the bounties for now. <laughs> the next bounty will be in 25 minutes, which means after we exit this vault. So I guess we should just get right to it. Equip my pouches, and with that, enable magnet. Oh, wait a minute. I... yeah, I don't think... no, I wouldn't be able to make enough to, to actually complete that. Let's just go. Oh dear, so we have to ornate, but the bad thing that we got is an uh, extra map damage. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I feel like we can manage that. Maybe. Maybe, perhaps, we'll see. I'm sorry, is this an immediate all room? Right off the bat? What? Uh, oh, that's Echo. I cannot not take this. I, I really, I really cannot not take this. It's going to be a little bit dangerous because, uh, well, mods. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a silk touch on this. That means I do get guaranteed the ore. But that means this is not picking it up because I forgot that I actually wanted to get... Uh, I don't know if I can change it. I hope I can change it. But I really want to try and get Fortune on it instead, if possible. Oh, but more Echo up here. Regardless, we get some Echo Ores from this, which is amazing. I actually do a lot of damage, I realize. How come that is? Did I get... Did I take something last time that I don't remember taking? <laughs> oh no, a shooter. I did. What? 
Get. Okay, that could be a problem. I don't think he's gonna hit me from up here. Okay, taking a little bit of damage. Probably be a little bit more careful. And I realized actually one nice thing about not having fortune is I don't actually have to like use a uh, vein miner as much because this thing is so, just so fast I can just easily break any ore there is without having to use vein miner to break like all the other non-necessary blocks reducing the durability of my thing even more. I do need to be careful though they do have increased damage after all. Oh hi fellas okay that's a lot of yeah that's a lot of you. Hi 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 please. Personal space. Personal space. Oh, but look at this. A lot of good ores here. This is amazing. Did you just hit me through that? No. No, you just didn't. You couldn't have because you don't exist anymore. So many ores. Look at this. And I think that that was that. Two echo ores though. And a bunch of others as well. Not too bad whatsoever. I almost feel bad for you. There we go. Throw a bunch of this random junk away and we shall. Oh wait, nope, missed one. Spend a little bit of time in this room, but I think that that was definitely worth it. I really love the theme in this vault though. Oh, that's the uh, oh yeah, monoliths. Oh, do I focus on those? I really don't want poison in this vault if I can avoid it. Uh oh, these turtles are going to be a pain. These guys are easy though. No. Aha, get shielded. Or PY, I will take it. And I think even though I haven't been here for that long, I will continue to the next room. I know there are wooden chests there, but I really want to complete the monoliths before starting to really just loot. Unless I see something really good like a living chest area or an eight chest or something like that. Ooh, and speaking of which, there is the next one. Oh, that was satisfying. Also doing this way, just running through, of course, running through the vaults, you have the, I guess, the chance of finding a special room, like that old room, increases because you get to visit more rooms in less time, because you don't loot everything in that one specific room. Well, I do want to just take a general look, you know, maybe there's a dungeon or something, never know. Which, for example, there's on nature chests up here. That's poison. Advancement made, thick steel. Oh. Because I picked up the planning block. Interesting. Look downstairs. You never know if there's gonna be a dungeon. Think we're good though. Ooh, another ore PY. Not exactly what I asked for, but I mean, I guess I'll take it. Saying no to it would be bad. And look at all this Laramar we're getting. I'd say that is worth it. All the gore tonight. Eh. And also I can use my new ability. There we go. Take less fall damage if I don't want to use my uh, my honey bucket. Another ore thing. Seriously. Getting a lot of ores in this vault. I'm not complaining though. Another okay. I mean I can't pass up the the ores are really good. Maybe I'll find some echo or something. Who knows? But I do need to keep moving if I want to find the monoliths. Which there's number three. I have five to go. Oh, and this is apparently the end. I guess I'll have a quick look around. Night as well. Ooh, living. Okay, I'll take this. And just coins. I have plenty of coins, honestly. I'm not gonna waste time with that. I do need to get these wooden chests though, because that... It has the potential to have catalyst fragments. Uh, Monster Soul, get some kills. That should be doable around here. Ooh, guilt chest. I don't feel like I'm really seeing the 25% uh, ornate chests. I, one thing as well, I don't actually know if the PU, the POI chance of it being a an, an ornate POI increases or if it will spawn random ornate chests here and there. I think that is how it used to work in the old Funtantas, but I don't know if that is how it works now. Are you kidding me? No more bobs? Wait, there's a spawner back here. Please come with me. I need three more and there's exactly three of you. Come closer. You two. Come on. 
And there we go. 11 minutes. That means I've used over half the time and I haven't found all the monoliths and I haven't even been looting that much. Uh, stressful vault unto life. Here is the fourth monolith though and a pretty open room, not gonna lie. Anything special down here other than just wooden chests? Maybe a dungeon or something exciting? Not that I really think I would have time for a dungeon. Ooh! Okay, so this is not an ornate POI, just random ornate chests spawned in. So that, I guess, answers my question. I guess it primarily shows if you get it to like 50, 75, 100% increase. Because 100% would be like double, which double from nothing is some something. I don't actually know how that math actually works out. You get the point. Oh, I don't want to deal with you at all. And I don't see a monolith, Ooh, but I do see gilded chests. And then I'm running away. Oh, there's a monolith up here. I actually thought I came up here to an ornate POI, but that was not the case. However, I'm glad I came up here. Ooh, living. What on? Okay. That was a bit creepy, not gonna lie. Okay, three monoliths to go. And seven minutes remaining. And another one of you. What even are you? Me no like. Uh, get you real quick. Okay, of course. Kind of gonna run through this. Probably a very bad I do. Ooh, ores. Fine. I really do need to hurry if I want to find all the monoliths and make it back to my <laughs> portal as well. Well, that's the other one, so now I just need two. Which means I will run straight past this room into the next, which looks really cool. And right in there is going to be my portal room. Uh, I, yes, I should drop down here. That was a bad idea. Big slime. Well, that poison disappears. I might as well grab this. And no interesting thing down here. Quickly get the. That's another poison. You guys suck. And that's not a way up. The house has so many of them. Why? That. Uh oh. Five minutes. I don't think I have any kiwi, so I have one kiwi. <laughs> so I can buy myself 10 seconds. That's not quite enough. Oh, but there is the second last mod list. So I'm going to grab that. Then I'm going to head this way. And hope that there is one right next to my portal room in this in this room, which uh, of course there isn't, so I'm just going to quickly check around here. Nope. I have four minutes. I have four minutes. Plenty of time. And we're in this room now, which if I go in there, that's going to be my starter room. So, have a quick look around here. And yep, that is final one. Got it all. Ah, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. Hopefully the loot was worth it. Skipping all the treasure and loot on the way. But I think it was. I'm just gonna get as many of these chests as I can. Okay, two minutes remaining. Go away, please. That would be very kind of you. More ores. I guess... Sure, that is only coins. I'm not interested in coins. Anything here? Yes, ornate. That is, after all, what we came in here for. Ah, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Not dealing with that. Okay, gonna start heading back now. Just in case I missed a turn or something. Which? Oh, no, I did. What? No, but, wah. No, 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 no. This is bad, this is bad, this is really, really bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Let me run, please. Oh man, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is really, 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 really bad. I thought I was home. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. One minute, one minute. Please, please, please. Yes, yes, I see, I see, I see the face. Okay. That's why you always either grab a bunch of vault fruit or make sure you have a couple of minutes to spare, because that. I refuse to go out like this. 
Well, with that almost being a uh, very bad moment, let's uh, head back home. And 14,000 XP, not that many chests looted, but 212 <laughs> mobs unalived. I will certainly take it. And of course, we got the monolith crate. And it is night time, but before anything, I will be purchasing this. Boom. Don't know if that was a good idea, but now we have two of these living ones. And now it is time for a well-deserved rest. All right, before we actually go ahead and take a look at the loot, I just want to see... Yes, yeah, so Chani, this will remove the following enchantment, Silk Touch. I do want to do that. Boom. Yes, so now we have Fortune on our Steel Cutter. With that sorted, let us take a look at what we got. So first of all, we got some gems. A ten size wooden affinity is not bad. Everything else is kind of meh, though. So there be added to this i really need to figure out what to do with all these gems gem cutting stream anyone maybe just uh, maybe maybe not now i do have fortune three on this so i think what i actually want to do is go ahead and place all of these ores and see what we get because i don't actually save the ores themselves okay i did with these but we're not that's not happening anymore we're going to try and mine all of them and see the total result here 33 larimar ores that is not bad Three black opal ores plus three of these. An ashium, two echo. I'm so excited for those. I'm also really excited for the senium. All right, and there we go. Equip vein, vein miner and just start mining. I guess I will activate the magnet and just mine all of these up. The, the, the what's it called? Backpack? The pouches should be picking everything up, hopefully. And boom. All right, I think that is it. And this one will come contain them let us see what we get here okay no seriously no echo from those echo ores i mean we got one senior that's not bad 30 wood to die 29 alexander right 46 and 73 larimar not bad 20 black opal and 46 pain knife okay i was hoping to get some uh, some echoes but i guess not overall though our gems are looking not too bad well let us go through the pouches now in this one we got unidentified vol leggings three Relic booster packs, 20 knowledge, and to be fair, I didn't get much from this place, mainly because I was focusing on the monoliths. So I guess that is fair. We do have 170 uh knowledge essence now, though, which could result in 18 knowledge shards. Ooh, okay. I actually didn't know we had uh the potential to make that many. Let's open the relic booster packs. Nothing. And let us reveal these. They're not gonna be as good as the ones I already have, except they actually have better armor. I'm, I'm sticking with mine. Don't care for them. Has to be better. And in this one, we just got a bunch of random uh, miscellaneous stuff, which all of it will be added right in here. And boom. Now to see what we get in this. Anything interesting? Some armor, some gems. Other than that, doesn't really look super interesting. A chip jewel, item rarity, not bad. Everything else is kind of all right, I guess. Some trap the sam chance not too bad either i suppose and a facet local focus of block chance any of this gotta be good no and also scrappy yeah nope not interested in any of it oh yeah and some eternal souls all right so uh, next i want to continue in the quest lines because i really want to get down to the storing gear part so let's take a look at this the modifier workbench allows you to craft guaranteed modifiers onto your gear giving you a large amount of control in terms of creating specific specific builds. Some modifiers unlock via leveling, however, there are others that can only be unlocked by finding a modifier archive within the dungeons, and I think I remember this now. So this is the modifier workbench, requires a vault artisan station, which we will have one down there, but I don't want to use it for this, so I need to make another one. There we go, that's the artisan station, then we just need two more chromatic and three more essence. And just like that, a modifier workbench, and honestly, that looks really, really cool. Wow, I love it. And this will then be placed... Uh, uh, starting to... You know what? Move you over here. Mo move you over... <laughs> I'm, I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm placing that there. And there we go. So if I took this, for example... Oh. Okay, 
this is cool. We can, oh, that means we can build. Ooh, I'm, that's exciting. That is actually really, really exciting. Ooh, yep. <laughs> and the item is there as well. I love it. Okay, that's really, really cool. That's awesome. And we will get some netherite ingots and some vault alloy from that. Next though, we have a storing a gear. The wardrobe allows you to store a set of gear and a hot bar that you can quick switch between using the GOI. This enables having many different build sets to play with while allowing for much greater ease of access. Okay, interact with a wardrobe. Um, I guess I need to make a wardrobe right after taking a nap. So let's take a look at this. So that's a vault diamond block, vault assets and an armor stand. That's interesting. Uh, just need to get some smooth stone real quick. While that is smelting, we do have a more bounties. We have an item submission, submit gold ingots, not really interested in that. However, we have completion gather elixir. We do get a mystery egg and quite a bit of chromatic ions and some knowledge assets. So I think this is all right. And then we also have a kill assassin mobs in the vault for seven chromatic steel ingots. So that's pretty decent. However, I will just quickly re-roll this to see what we get. Ooh, I think I'm going to take this one first because that's some pretty decent vault uh, coins and chromatic steel ingot. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take that. Also, I do know that this is thing, but uh, 3,200 soul shards not happening. And there we go. That is the smooth stone slab of which I only need one. So let's make that armor stand. Let us make that diamond block. And just like that, we have a wardrobe, which if we place that down, let us experiment. So if I swap equipment, that doesn't happen because there's nothing in here. But look at that. This can be moved over. The trinket, the magnet can be moved over. That means I could in theory have armor. So let's take the elytra, for example, if we add that here. Oh, yeah. And the hot bar can change as well. I don't I don't need that thing down there anymore as much. OK, that just looks cursed. <laughs> But yeah, so I could have vanilla armor, for example, or not vanilla armor, but armor that I use in the overworld. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, we're gonna do something. We're gonna set this down here. I think I completed this. Yep, so I actually have two of these now. That's cool. I'm gonna place one of them there. I think I only need one for now. Literally, I'm going to put the elytra right here, and then I'm going to take this stuff. Then I'm going to get you there. I'm going to set my inventory up or my hotbar to where I would have it if I was running a vault including these two fellas right here. There we go. This is how I would run a vault. So if we go in here to this, just add everything like that. This is then my vanilla loadout right here. So if I go in here, swap, boom, I'm not ready. Okay, so swap that over because this, wait, oh, but then it doesn't go back. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, I kind of wish it swapped with whatever was in here. So if it was empty, it would just take the item in, like if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, but it's, it's still pretty cool. So I can just go in here and then it's basically my shelf. Okay, that, that's basically what it is. I can hold all my items. That's, that's still pretty nice. So I guess now when I get extra vault armor, I'll just add it there so I can wear something while being in the overworld, saving this for when we go into a vault. Not too bad. So I guess we'll just continue this multiple builds, just like the wardrobe allows for storing gear. The skill altar allows for storing abilities and talents so that you can quick switch between different builds. This synergizes is exceptionally well with the wardrobe skill alter that is interesting so this is the skill alter I oh that's expensive that's expensive uh <laughs> I don't know if I have okay I do have one we got that earlier and I need eight of these and then a perfect black opal I should be able to do this oh no I need three right oh that that's expensive. That's very expensive. I don't know if this is worth it. I don't feel like that, that that sounds like something I'm going to be using, but I'll make it since it's in the quest line. I need some red wool as well. I'm so happy you can use beet roots to make red dye. That just makes that so much easier. makes so much sense. All right, making the skill altar. That was an, a very, very expensive thing to craft. I'm going to move this just because if I use it, it's going to be here. And so let's move this thing over by the bed, I suppose, right there. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so right-clicking the skill altar, um, complete that, orb of regret. Oh, they go in here. No abilities or talents low. Save your abilities and talents. So if I save that, OK, 
Okay, share in chat, coverage clipboard, import, same abilities and talents. So if I change the mine, would that mean that I can, oh, I can make different profiles. Okay, I don't understand why I can put these in here, but that is fine. I get, oh, I can change which one represents it. So I can have different things, like I can have one where I focus mainly on javelins, I suppose. Okay, that's cool. I think I need to learn a little bit more about this. If you guys have any tips or something like that, do let me know down below in the comments. But I can see how this is useful. Speaking of which, I do have one unspent skill point. Not sure what to use it on. I want strength. I also want witchery, I guess would be cool. Throw power like javelin enhancements. Damage is cool as well. But so is other things. Fireball. Dash could be upgraded. Vein miner. You know what? Let's upgrade vein miner. So what happens if I go down here now? Because then that would be that so it is different now okay i will be honest i don't know exactly how this works <laughs> Oh, wait, missing two regret orbs. Oh, so that's how it works. So with this one, I have a minor set to two. In this one, it's only one. So that is the difference between those two. And so if in this one, I put this in here, for example, so I can see this is by the one with more vein miner, I can go ahead and do that and load abilities and talents. Using two regret orbs, it removes one ability in vein miner. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Especially if you want to switch between two massively different classes. I like that. I guess let's continue. The transmogrification table allows you to transmog gear pieces to any unlocked transport. Oh, the skins. Okay, so I can change the skin of armor. Okay, that is actually pretty cool. I really do want that. So I need an enchantment table and it appears that I don't have any obsidian. We can't have that now, can we? And if I actually just main mine this, enable magnet. Yep, I got all four. Perfect. <laughs> and chat table and transmogrification table and uh, sure so if i add this for example because i really don't like the skin of this i can change how it looks and it does cost a little bit of coins but that's fine we can add this for example and if i wanted yeah let's say i wanted the orc helmet back perfect so the helmet doesn't change but the skin changes i love that and we get rewarded with 64 coins can i chase a, the shield <gasps> i can chase a shield <laughs> I would much rather have this texture much better. I oh, I love that thing. I'm gonna sleep on it now. Okay, we have reached seals and crystals. Seals can be used to specify the vault objectives in a vault crystal. There are multiple types of seals ranging from objectives that can roll randomly in vaults to objectives that are special and can only be rolled by applying a seal. The seal of the architect is one such seal. With this seal, you can add special rooms to your crystal by applying inscriptions. Without any room in inscription applied, the vault will be empty, so make sure you apply a room to your crystal. Okay, so I need to make sure that I have inscriptions. I have inscription pieces. Is that what I need? Apply a seal of the architect to a... Oh, I guess it continues down here. Okay, seal. Okay, so I need to make a seal of the architect, essentially. It's actually really cool. We have executioner, hunter, scavenger hunt. We haven't done that yet. Architect, cake hunt, we haven't done either. So what do we need? This, this, and knowledge shard. All right, let's make this very very expensive thing right here. Apply seal of the architect to a vault crystal. So I also need to go ahead and craft a new vault crystal. And let's see what we get. Uh, ooh, so this should be good. Hopefully, yeah, look at this. Nice, this is why I made that farm. Otherwise, this would have been a really big pain to do. However, I only have nine slime balls. Uh, I need dough and wheat flour and I don't have create, so I can't make that. Um, I down flesh chest loot. Uh, I need to find a swamp. I guess I just gotta go there and wait for night time. Not much else I can do. All right, 21 slime balls in total. That means that I got. Uh, 12 plus 9. Yeah, 21. So that means I got 12 uh, slime balls. I think I'm just going to stay here for the rest of the night. We have less than half remaining. So I might, I might as well stay here and just run back and forth between that swamp and the other one over here. Just to optimize completely now that we're here anyway. Also, it's fun to just run around and one tap, tap. the have to clean that it's here. <laughs> 
Boop, 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 hello? What on earth are you? What? Hey? Just stop it. What are you? You are weird. I've never seen you before. You I kill you instantly and blitz mode. Huh? That's interesting. Okay, then. Not a chance. We are. All right. Daytime has arrived and I think it is time to head back home. And home sweet home. We can now provide everything required. There we go. And ka-ching. And here we go. Uh, Vault Crystal Architect. This is a this is a that I have actually ever crafted in this. So let's complete that. We got four blank seals in return. Not bad whatsoever. Let's take a look at the inscriptions because I assume uh, apply an inscription to an architect crystal, but I only have inscription pieces. Okay, let's let's read this. Inscriptions can be crafted in the inscription table or rarely acquired from completion crates 20 plus and living chests at 30 plus levels. These can be applied to a crystal that contains a seal of the architect and will add specific traits or rooms to the crystal. Completion. Completion is a mechanic that decides how complete the vault is. At 50% completion, the vault will have 50% of its blocks turned to vault bedrock. This includes things like ores and chests too. Time. Time is the maximum time you will have on the vault. In stability, this is a chance that the crystal will roll an instability roll and potentially curse or cause the crystal to be unmodifiable. Okay then, apply an inscription to an arch uh, architect crystal. Inscription table. Ah, okay. Okay, that's expensive. <laughs> and I need another catalyst thingy? Okay. This, um, okay, that, that's a lot of crafting. So let's first of all go ahead and make the lectern. And thankfully I do have catalyst fragments. Imagine if I didn't have that, that would be, that would have been very unfortunate. Now what I'm worried about is, yeah, this is going to be very, it, it, if it would stop lagging, that would, yeah, that would be nice. But this is going to be quite expensive. Okay, let's just make as many of these as possible. We will be needing them. Okay, so catalyst infusion table. Then we need the inscription table. So that is five more. So that's fine. Then the vault crystal block thingy. And then two black chromatic steel thingies, which means I need even more of this and just make these extra because we will need them in the future eventually. Grab the required black opal, turn it into perfect black opals and turn them into black chromatic steel ingots. I don't know if I've ever used this much black uh, chromatic steel ingots in one episode. There we go though. That is the inscription table that will go right next to this. It looks very, very special. Okay, this is interesting. I think uh, and plan it. Oh, I need to apply an uh, inscription. Okay, so oh, I need to get all the inscription pieces that I have. So currently layout architect 0% time is 10 seconds. Um, empty inscription, mushroom inscription. Oh, these are the special rooms. Hold up. These are the special rooms. Okay, chest mark room. I like that. Painting inscription is good as well. Mine inscription, library, mushroom. Mushroom is living. Living would be good, but I don't have that many living chest scrolls. Crystal caverns, wild west, dragon, that's coins, factory. Don't know what that is. Village, those could be, I think, gilded? Yeah, gilded. It is actually pretty decent so it's either this or this let's see how much how many chest scrolls and how much vault gold I have okay I have plenty of vault gold let's see <laughs> Let's see how many scrolls I have. Okay, I have quite a few different ones. So let's say I wanted to make an X mark room because those are fun. Uh, that's two on eight. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so that adds one minute and 47 seconds. Its ability is 7.5 as 16. Let's make also a uh, inscription piece. Oh, I don't have more inscriptions. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't know what an empty inscription is but I don't think there's anything else that I can make except for a Wild West inscription, which is Gilded Chest. I guess those are okay. Factory is actually a 
block of netherite. Okay, that I think uh, block of netherite. That should be doable. Do there we go. Block of netherite acquired. So that means I should be able to craft factory. That is 47 seconds and 15%. And I assume that I then need to apply this using the anvil like that. There we go. And that should give me 10 inscription pieces as well. The next part is unlocking doors. We're going to save that because this is plenty to take in. Okay, so that is 2 minutes and 43 seconds. Its ability is 15.9% chance of getting like cursed or something. Let's see if there's something more we can do. This is actually quite exciting. Uh, blacksmith inscription, that is also ornate. So what do we have currently? Xbox room, that's ornate. Factory, don't know what that is. Having the mushroom one would cool, but we don't have that many living chest scrolls. Or the blacksmith ability. That's a lot of Laramar gems. I'm not going to pay that for that. Can't do that. Cove inscription, I'm pretty sure that is primarily coins. We might not be able to make another one. We can make a Wild West inscription. Don't think we have that yet. Yeah, let's do that. That will be Gilded Chest. That's fine. Let's do the completion only 5%. Uh, but I don't think we can actually make another one. Uh, the vault is only 36% complete. And we're unable to make any more inscriptions, basically. We don't have enough inscription pieces. What did it say again? At 50% completion, the vault will have 50% of its blocks turned to vault bedrock. Don't think we want that. <laughs> I think I want to save this crystal and just keep building on it. Eventually, we will get it to 100% and then we will run it. Don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I think that that is what I'm going to do. Running it now, I don't think would make sense because we would only have four minutes to actually use those rooms that we have added. Obviously, we could eat something like lemons or something, but still, yeah, I think I think we're going to um, I think we're going to wait and actually complete that crystal as much as we possibly can. Maybe. As had some uh, empty inscriptions to keep it so that we can focus on those three rooms that are really expensive. But that requires more inscription pieces. So that means we have a lot of vaults to run, which before we end this episode, so I'm going to make a bunch of vault crystals, except that it would appear. Okay, I'm not out of chromatic iron just yet. Phew. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and make like 16 of these. And of this, we'll be needing them. Take a quick nap and let's see what we get. If we have some stuff that is easy to do, then we will definitely go ahead and do it. Time to farm up the beetroot. And since I don't need all the seeds in the altar, we can plant the rest. And boom, one crystal made. Now, ideally, you don't wanna really make a bunch of crystals because you obviously level up eventually. But I think I can get away with making two, two, uh, two crystals here. Die sugarcane again. See, this is why we make these things. Uh, if this could just trigger, that would be great. I'm gonna add the other ingredients first though. Is that concrete? That it is. I have just enough sand and just enough uh, gravel to actually do this. I do need, however, to convert it first. Just like that. Cocoa beans. Uh, yeah, I don't have cocoa beans. Looks like we need to go for a little bit of a flight. Cocoa beans has been spotted. I should probably make a cocoa bean farm, but for now, I'm just gonna take exactly what I need to get this done. Even find any more cocoa beans than just the one. Am I seriously forced to grow them myself? Nope. I see one just under this tree and this all of a sudden got really, really dark. Wow. That's not comfortable. But let's now head home. Head home. Oh, there's a lot of flowers there. That's good to know. It is very nice that you can toggle the waypoints from, from seeing the waypoints in the world and not. That is really, really cool. When flying, really useful. When you then get home, very useful to be able to hide them. And there we go. Cocoa beans acquired and that is still not triggered yet. I may need you to go ahead and trigger. There we go. I need 29 in total. Seriously? Oh wait, 27. Oh come on. Nope, don't have enough on me. Uh, oh, there we go. Extra. And uh, there we go. Crystal completed at last. And just because I'm curious, what's this one? Oh, that's easy. But I won't be cracking that right now just to make it so that we all always have one that is like close to our level. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have vaults to run. However, uh, that is going to be what we start off with in the next episode. Next episode is probably got just going to be us vaulting and crafting crystals just so we can get a bunch of progression done. So hopefully we can run this architect vault fairly soon. Hopefully we can craft this finished in the next episode. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. By the way, if you have any feedback, like suggestions or 
things that I potentially did wrong, you know, with the inscription table or, you know, the modified workbench. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, do please let me know down below in the comments. It is greatly appreciated, all the feedback. But that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new. It greatly helps out the channel. Enable those notifications to know so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, I'm going to go to bed. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, goodbye. Let me sleep.